Here's where uh, concealer, talk about concealer. And just, you know, a scripture to think about. Each thing is you're putting on just a scripture to think about. And then the other thing that I uh, did was I got this, um, the prayer journal. And I really like this too. Um, again, she gives you the first page, maybe some suggestions what to pray for and how to use this. And then you just go in, you put the name and prayer dates. And it's good to write when God answers prayer because sometimes we forget the Lord answers our prayers, and we should not forget that. Um, also, she gives you these little colorful um, gem clips, and it does have her Bible, I mean, her little individual tabs, laminated tabs. And um, I just really like this. And then also, um, just this little note here. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Yeah, she just has this little note, so you can take that off. I haven't taken that one off. Because I also have got this, again, for gifts. I mean, I love giving these because they're a great gift to your Christian friends. And even to non-Christians, if they're open to hearing about it, especially journaling as they explore the Bible, even if they're not believers yet, that's a great way, a uh, great thing to give someone. Um, did I run over? Oh, I did. So lot be part one and part two. I thought I checked it better. Um, but it's, it's a good thing to give to... Um, maybe a non-believing friend, especially the Bible journal, because it kind of teaches you how to ask questions of the Bible. For instance, um, is this the prayer one? This is the Bible journal one. Hold on. Okay, I really would rather go back and show you her example than mine. I write so sloppy. Okay, well, here's a, here's a great idea, and I just haven't done this one yet. You put the date, then you put the scripture that you want to look at, and then you put who is the focus on that scripture, um, what God, what, what that scripture is talking about, when approximately was it, and usually your study help Bibles tell you when that was, where was it, like what part of the ancient world was it, and why. Why, did, why do you feel like that particular scripture is something God made sure that gotten to the divine word of God, and how. So, I mean, um, and you can also change this to be not specifically that. Like, here's one I got very um, involved with this one, as you can see. It's super. <laughs> I went crazy overboard with that one. And that one was about having hope in the right place. And I chose uh, several scriptures that I focused on on that one. And then this one was about covenant. And the scriptural focus was Luke 22, 19 through 20. And, um, and I didn't always answer all these questions. It just kind of helped me focus on the story and what God wanted me to get from it and how to apply it to my life. And even an unbelieving person who is open to looking at the Bible and to looking into the Christian faith, maybe they just haven't made a profession of, of their faith yet, it's, it's good to go ahead and do that because... Um, if you give them something like this, that can be an exploratory tool of the Word of God and of the Christian faith. So I just think that's really good. And again, if you if you just kind of want a little coaching as you get started in the process, the other thing I like about this is that um, you have this little kind of, I don't know, example at the very front. Um, like her example says... Um, what, I mean, who is you and God? What is spending time with God? Studying, praying, listening, writing. When, every day, where, a comfy spot. How, make time with God a priority by gathering your supplies and praying expectantly. And be creative with your artwork and just enjoy doing it. So, uh, this is more about answering the questions that, as it applies to you and God as you do the study versus the scripture that you're studying. And I think that's another good way to use this Bible. I mean, this um, this journal. Same thing with the prayer journal. You can get it, and then once you get it, you can decide how do you want to use it. Um, the other thing that I do suggest as little helps is it's always good to get some sort of a little um, highlighting, Bible highlighting kit. And I like this one. It's called I Study Bible Kit. And the reason that I like this one is because... These don't bleed through. These highlighters don't bleed through. And then one of these is a pen. Um, so that one's the pen. Let me undo that. There. 
Um, and then the rest of them are highlighters and that, that little, it's just kind of a little interesting way of um, making sure they all stay in there. And then also they have a suggestion here of how to organize it. Um, your, your, um, the way that you're studying is by saying yellow is who, blue is what, pink is why, black is permanent note taking, and pencil is temporary markings. Um, and sometimes it says you may want to instead use these different highlighting colors as different um, like key colors of what it's about for you. Like for me, y'all know that whenever I use blue, what is it? It's about Jesus is God versus whenever I use um, green or pink, it's about growth. So maybe some, maybe my more mature verses. And then um, the yellow is usually just the highlight of the most common verses that you really need to kind of know and have handy and highlighted. So I like that yellow. And then the, of course there is the, the black for writing and the, um, is that a pencil? I didn't think that was a pencil. I think these are both pens, y'all. Yeah, these are both pens. So I'm kind of confused why it said pencil. I don't know. Anyway, so, and you don't got to get this one. Um, I think this one's actually even pricey. I got it at the Christian bookstore. Or actually, I think I got this at Books of Mayhem. But you can just get, like, sometimes I'll just get a little um, set of color pens. Or I'll just get a highlighter. Or I'll get a highlighter set. This was a set. So, I mean, um, and sometimes it's helpful to use um, things like, I really love this. I think I, I did a haul where I showed y'all this. And um, it's just, you know, this could be a makeup pouch, but I use it as a, um, it's got this little um, handle on the end and a nice zipper and pull through. It's a real strong zipper, but it's got all my little highlighter and pins in it. And I can just rummage through here and see, okay, what am I looking for? I need me a yellow highlighter like a new one that's a little wetter because I'm going to be highlighting a lot, so I'll get that one. Or maybe I want to write in a certain color, like I want to write in this light pink because it's going to be about something that's lady-oriented. Or, you know, this is about growth. It's something I need to seriously focus on, so I'll choose my green. Or, you know, oh, there's another Jesus is God verse, so I'll use my blue highlighter. Or maybe sometimes I just get, you know, just, just different pens or, or um, use my Sharpies or... This is a gold, metallic gold marker. So this is just, um, sometimes it's good just to have a little, a little bag of multi-pens that you like to use. Sometimes it's good to have little post-it notes if you want to, you know, mark certain pages. And the, the post-it notes are really good to have because they don't tear the page. You, you can easily pull, pry them off when you're through with that study and you want to apply it to another place in the Bible. You can just stick it, you know, just pull one out. And just stick it right on that page right there and say that's where I want to come back to and then when you're done with that study you can pull it off and you can put it on another page because these are reusable so I love having little post-it notes um, I also I you know I highly 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 recommend that if you don't get a journal like that that you get some sort of a notebook. I keep always pulling out my Louis Vuitton that just seems rather pretentious, but I did want to get this because I fell in love with the, the colors and everything, But um, and I, the fact that I use it for Bible study, one day I will give this to someone, I'll have all those scriptures, and it'll be even more valuable because this is just leather and a brand name, but what's inside with the Word of God, that's forever valuable. So you can just get a plain old paper journal. You don't have to get all these kind of things. I mean, uh, one time I even, this is an old planner from another year. That was from 2019. But I still use these little pages to write scriptures on that I love. Why well, throw it out? And um, so little things like that. I mean, you can just use anything. Um, I mean, you can just write down on, a, on just a plain old piece of paper. The problem is, is if you want to go back to that and you have a lot of loose little pieces of paper, that's why I like to have it in a spiral bound notebook. Or you can three hole punch it and keep it in a planner notebook. Um, sometimes it's just really fun to um, just make it a fun event <laughs> when you're doing this. And one of the things I like to do is have pretty pins. So I have, this, I have this one. I have the little crystal edged ones, I think, somewhere where it looks like a little diamond on the end. This is just a pretty sparkly one. Um, or sometimes when you give a Bible, you can give a real pretty um, notebook and a pretty pen and just kind of make it all a package. It makes it so special. Um, I think one of the best gifts you can give someone is a Bible. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to show y'all that new Bible, the tabs, the, the old tabs and the new tabs, the Bible journal and the prayer journal. 
um, some other little study help type things that just, you know, they make it easier. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you again soon. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.